Hi there, Bob Beachley again. Uh, this time uh, I'm giving a review of this. Uh, the Hi-Fi GoLink DAC, uh, which I just purchased. So I've wanted to buy uh, an external DAC for a while uh, so that I could listen to the really high-res uh, Apple Music lossless files, the one that go up, the ones that go up to 192 kilohertz, 24-bit. Uh, I'm able to listen to ones up to 96 uh, hertz, 24-bit, uh, using my MacBook Pro or my uh, Mac, Mac Studio, but I wanted to be able to listen to the the very high-res ones, which uh, requires an external DAC. Uh, and in fact, uh, if I wanted to listen to even the the, the sort of 96 kilohertz ones uh, on my iPhone, for example, that needs an external DAC. So I wanted one for a while, but given how much I'd probably use it, which wouldn't be uh, every day necessarily, um, I was reluctant to pay over £100 for the ones that I'd looked at that had got good reviews. But then I saw a review of this, the Hi-Fi Go Link, uh, which only costs £59 here in the UK, $59, I think, in the US. And the reviews I read were all very complimentary, so I, I uh, immediately uh, bought one. And I have to say, I'm very, very pleased. I think the reviews are correct. It's an excellent little DAC. The sound quality is very good. Uh, it's able to handle all the uh, lossless files. I mean, it will handle um, uh, files up to, I think it's 384 kilohertz at 32-bit. Uh, I'm not sure where you'd get such files. Um, uh, Apple lossless uh, music files, have, uh, the highest they go up to, as I say, is 192 kilohertz at 24-bit. Um, but it will certainly handle those, therefore, very uh, capably. Of course, it will handle uh, 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 files with a lower um, sample rate, uh, CD quality, and 96 kilohertz, and so on. So it's very versatile. It will also handle other formats besides um, what are known as PCM files, which is the, what, what Apple lossless files are. That doesn't really interest me. I'm not going to be listening to any of that type. But certainly for listening to high-res lossless files uh, on uh, Apple Music. Uh, it's, it's been excellent. So here you can see the uh, iFi Go Link. Uh, as you can see, it's a really small little device. So it's easily uh, portable. Uh, it uh, draws its power from the USB-C port. So there's no need for any, uh, there's no battery uh, involved here. Um, as you can see, it's in two sections. Here is the uh, DAC section here, and it, there's there's a headphone jack, a standard headphone jack at the end. That's connected by this nice uh, braided uh, cable, which looks nice and strong, to this uh, USB-C connector. So it comes with USB-C uh, standard, uh, but it does have adapters for other uh, ports. Uh, so, for example, if you want to use it with your uh, iPhone, which need which the iPhones these days, of course, still have a lightning connector. The uh, upcoming iPhone 15 uh, is rumored to have USB-C, in which case you can use this. But if you want it to use it with an iPhone 14, 13, whatever, no problem. Slot on the uh, lightning adapter, and there you go. So that's nice. And also, it comes with a second adapter, which for USB-A. If you, for example, wanted to use it with a laptop, uh, say that only has USB-A. Again, no problem. Stick it on, and there we go. So that's really nice that iFi supply those two adapters. So it pretty much covers all bases. USB-C, Lightning, USB-A. Uh, one of those three should certainly be uh, what you, you, you need. Um, the other thing I want to uh, mention, finally, is this uh, little LED light here, Hope you can see that there um, on the DAC section. That lights up when you're listening to music to indicate the sample rate. So when it comes to standard PCM files like Apple, uh, Apple Music files and so on, uh, it lights up green for any sample rate up to, 90, up to and including uh, 96 kilohertz. It uh, for anything above that, up to 384 kilohertz, as I said, it will go up to 384, uh, it lights up amber. 
It lights up other colours too for other uh, file formats, so these are not ones I'm uh, interested in. Uh, and you can see those uh, different colours here and what they indicate on this little uh, chart, which is supplied uh, in the box. Uh, you can also download it from uh, their uh, website. Uh, so as you can see, there are other colours as well, but the only two that uh, that I uh, am concerned with, I think most people, are the green and the amber. So that's a nice feature. Uh, so you can tell what it is you're listening to. Uh, and over all in all, as I say, I think it's an excellent device. It's just what I've been looking for, uh, a relatively cheap but uh, good quality uh, external DAC. So overall then, uh, i got to say, I think it's an absolute bargain, this, at, uh, for, for the price. It, the sound quality is more than good enough for me. You do notice a difference. I have, to, I have to admit, I don't think the difference, certainly not to my ears, the difference between uh, an ordinary um, compressed Apple Music file uh, and the higher res lossless ones is... is um, highly significant, but, you, but it, there is a difference. You do notice uh, greater clarity. Uh, you, you can hear the instruments more clearly, the individual instruments. There, there, is a, there is a difference. It's not dramatic, as some people claim, certainly not to my ears, but it, it is there. So it's nice to be able to listen to these, uh, to my music at the highest possible uh, resolution. As I say, this deck fits the bill perfectly. I can use it with my Mac or my iPhone or my iPad. Um, and uh, all in all, I say it's an absolute bargain.